Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. Today we are checking out 2022 Tops Allen and Ginter. This came out yesterday and I picked this box up at Midwest Cards out in Ohio. We had a double new release day. Cosmic Chrome came out yesterday as well. That video is up and we'll be looking at Cosmic Chrome I think again tomorrow when we put it up against a regular Chrome box and a face off Friday. So today we're going to focus on Allen and Ginter. There's 300 cards in the base set. There's also 50 short printed cards as well, which will be numbers 300 and th uh, through 350. And there's a little bit of uh, an asterisk with this. There's two cards, Manny Ramirez and Luis Castillo, which fall within the short print numbers, but aren't actually short printed, I think. Anyway, there's going to be three hits per box. They could be an autograph. They could be a relic. They could be a rip card. They could be a printing plate. Or they could be a booklet. So pretty excited for this. The rip cards, if you're not familiar with those are, it's a card within a card. Basically, you'll get a little thick card and you just pull a tab on it and open it up and there'll be another card inside. Typically, the card inside is not really worth that much. Uh, but you have a chance of pulling autographs and uh, like printing plates and stuff like that, stained glass minis and, and so on and so forth. But here is the side of the box. You can see there's 24 packs with eight cards per pack. Here's the bottom of the box. You can see there's um, there's the design. It's kind of featuring that with Wander Franco, Bobby Witt Jr. So let's go ahead and get into this. Brandon Simmons is our sponsor for this video. He's a Patreon member. If you would like to check us out on Patreon, there is a link in the description if you'd like to sign up there and uh, you'll have access to all of our breaks, including videos like this one, live streams, and members with a higher tier will get monthly packs sent to them. So here we go. We have a oversized box topper there for Brandon. Now there can be rip box toppers, which are pretty interesting. Those are kind of tough to find though, but... Um, there's two types of the box toppers. You got the oversized box toppers, and you got the smaller ones, which are called N43s. All right, so here we go. This is what the pack wrapper looks like. And here are all of the odds. I know it's probably going to be a little bit tough to see. Let's try to zoom in a little bit so you can read through those. There we go. And we'll zoom back out, and let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. Pack number one. There are weirdo cards back again. That's what I call them. Weirdo cards because you're going to see sandwiches and national parks and stuff like that in here. So we've got Teoscar Hernandez leading things off. And the design is just kind of uh, very, uh, very Allen and Ginter-ish, I should say. Um, this is a product where you could probably show me an Allen and Ginter card and I will not be able to tell you the year. Um, if it didn't have that on there because the designs always look pretty similar. We've got a B real card right there. Who's that? He is a, uh, I guess a member of Cypress Hill. We got Lucius Fox, Paul Canerco, Stephen Kwan rookie card is a nice one. And there we go with a weirdo card. It's a, an inside the park, Death Valley National Park. I guess it would be a cool bucket list type deal to visit all the national parks, um, around baseball. And also Major League Parks. I think Major League Parks would be awesome. I've been to 21 of them. But National Parks would also be a nice thing. And they are being commemorated on these cars. we got George Brett and Joe Morgan. The backs, by the way, if you're wondering, they are kind of uh, kind of annoying that they type out the number for their career stats. There's Ichiro. And you'll you probably notice by now, there's a lot of old players inserted as well. There's four retired players in that pack. First four cards, there's a Matt Manning, Victor Robles, our mini. You get one mini per pack. And famous rivals, we got Robert E. Lee and Ulysses S. Grant facing off there in the Civil War era. All right, next up for Brandon Simmons, we've got Andrews. So if nothing else, I learn about who these non-baseball players are, host of a pro basketball studio show there, Malika Andrews. There's Jared Kelnick. We've got a Drew Ellis, Jim Tomei, got an Alec Thomas, Miggy, and man, I don't know who Grushka is, but he looks pretty lethal. Grushka, a uh, a founding member of the Florida rock band 
newfound glory. There's Jim Palmer as the last one. So still looking for our first hit. There's supposed to be three of them in here. And typically they will be relics. So if I had to bet you, I, I would bet that all three of the hits will be relics. There's a house, a Tim House, who uh, co-wrote the album Blood Harmony, some sort of music producer or something like that. And we've got a Randy Johnson card right there. And you know what I think they should do for Alan Gitter? This is just a uh, uh, an idea. I, I always say it every year. I think it would be cool if they did a YouTuber um, weirdo set. So you'd have guys like um, Dodger Films and Giraffe Neck Mark and Fuzzy in there. We've got Rodney Scott right there who's a barbecue cook. Byron Buxton, and we have our first hit. First look at the hits. It is a Chris Bryant. It is going to be a game used bat. So there's the back of the card. And for those of you like that like hot dogs, you are in luck because here is one of those get that bread insert cards. It is literally a picture of a hot dog. I call them weirdo cards. <laughs> and uh, man, they're definitely different. Alan and Gitter, not one of my favorite sets. There's Ellis, Jason Ellis, a former pro skateboarder. I only know that because I flipped the card over and looked. There's Daryl Strawberry, Frankie Montas, and we have a banner season 1977, Rod Carew, winning the MVP that year. But I will say, I'm, I'm glad Alan and Gitter is finally here. There is a... So a lengthy delay in this product getting out. It usually comes out over the summer, usually in July. And along with Stadium Club, it's been bumped way back. So I think Stadium Club is due next week or so. Maybe not until December. I'll have to double check. It keeps getting pushed back. There's a duck. And we have National Ice Cream Day. <laughs> Who is this eating ice cream? I uh, Ronald Reagan declared it in 1984, National Ice Cream Day in July. And I don't know who that is on the card. He has a top shirt on, though. All right, next up for Brandon. Let's see what we've got going on here. There's Wee West, who I'm guessing is a golfer, and I am right. There's Anthony Rizzo, just signed a two-year deal with the Yankees, so he'll be back. There's Locaine. We got Land Steiner. I'm gonna guess he's a bowler, and he's a curler. There's Tyler Glass now, Raphael Devers, and pitching a gem. Jacob Degrom is the last one. So the weirdo cards. I guess what I'll do to entertain myself is I'll try to guess what they do. I don't have much knowledge about pop uh, culture and stuff like that. So if I'm way off, you'll have to forgive me. There's Monty Irvin. We've got Ryan Sandberg, Austin Meadows, Christian Yelich, and we are spared a weirdo card in this pack. There's Hall of Famer Ron Santo and Max Scherzer. So some of you might be wondering, wait a minute, where's all the numbered cards? I haven't seen one yet. The numbered cards are very, very few and far between. They are in here, but typically they will be maybe a rip card or something like that. It's, um, you might have opened an entire case and maybe only pull just a small handful of numbered cards there's our first big rookie it's a bobby witt jr rookie card we'll go ahead and get that one sleeved up bobby witt jr there's the back of the card not too interesting jackie robinson hey john mayberry gets a card that's kind of interesting and we've got an o'neill cruz little rookie mini card and reggie jackson is the last one there in that pack all right moving on to the next pack up there's still two more hits to be found we got Justin Verlander, fresh off a Cy Young Award. So, Justin Verlander, congratulations. We'll see if we can find Sandy Alcantara. Westman, I have no idea what this guy does. I'm going to guess that he is potentially a, I don't know, um, UFC fighter. And I am wrong. He's a tattoo artist. I guess I should have known that. we got Jordan Alvarez. And for those of you that love Italian subs, you're in luck. <laughs> Get that bread. Italian sub card. There are people that will put that set together just for the heck of it. I mean, why not? Cards won't be all that expensive. Joe West, former umpire. Joe West has the record for most career games ever umpired. There's somebody named North. I have no idea. I'm going to guess a field hockey player. And um, I guess it's going to be some sort of attacker. Um, 
does it even tell me historic collegiate career? It doesn't even say what the, I'm guessing, oh, lacrosse player up there. Lacrosse player. Davy Cuts, obviously, Davy Cuts is a barber. <laughs> I don't, where do they even find these people? Bronx bomber named Davy Cuts. I, I, I have not heard of many of these folks, but a couple weirdo cards there for Brandon Simmons. We'll get your name in there so you can know that you're getting these weirdo cards. There's Mike Trout. Back when I first got back in the hobby, <laughs> I did a box of these for myself. And we have an autograph. It is a pretty good one there. Charlie Sheen autograph. The Wild Thing, Charlie Sheen. How about that one? Very nice right there for Brandon Simmons. Charlie Sheen on card autograph. Now, folks, a lot of times when I do large case breaks of this, I'll pull autographs of a lot of folks that I've never heard of before. And then we'll go on eBay and look them up and they're worth like $100 because people obviously love these different pop culture type um, folks. And uh, man, this is a big card right here. Charlie Sheen on card autograph for Brandon. That one is going to be a big hit. National Hot Dog Day. <laughs> what is this? This guy looks pretty happy. I feel like I want to go and fire up the old... Um, ebay machine and see what this one goes for i am going to guess this is just a total guess i'm going to guess 200 dollars on the charlie sheen let's go in uh 2022 charlie sheen allen and ginter autograph and see what we can come up with here looking on ebay for this there is one right now that's already over a hundred dollars with five hours left and there's multiple there's actually three of these on here right now and they're all $100 or more. I would guess that that card could potentially fetch upwards of $200. Charlie Sheen, one sold on November 16th for $200 on a best offer. So maybe you've come in at like $150 or something like that. But still an awesome card right there. And I just noticed um, the uh, this happened with Gypsy Queen. There is a problem that Top sometimes has when they're putting their autos in a pack. Look at the uh, little issue on the bottom where the card's peeling up a little bit so that kind of stinks i'm not going to get a psa 10 on it but nice card nonetheless all right so next one up man i hate it when that happens i once had an entire like case of gypsy queen where they all had that little roller issue on the bottom where they're all kind of damaged on the bottom i don't know what happened with uh how the, the autographs are inserted in the packs but it looks like the uh, machine snagged each and every one of them. Next, we've got a Hamilton. I'm going to guess that he is a uh, some sort of marathon. Oh, he's a curler. He's a curler. Yeah, they like their curlers this year in Allen and Ginter. All right, next up, we've got a Tyler O'Neill, and there's Shohei Otani. finished fourth in the Cy Young Award voting this year, which is not too shabby. Got Austin Hayes, a little mini car there of DJ Muggs. Obviously, he's a DJ, and uh, he's a musician. What's cooking? Mustard powder. That's interesting. I don't know if I've ever had mustard powder before. <laughs> next up for Brandon, let's see what we've got in this next pack. Jack Flaherty leads things off. We've got Wayno right there. Anthony Rendon Duplass. I'm going to guess he is a producer, movie producer, and he is a filmmaker. Nice. Tom Glavin and... For those of you that love chicken parm, we have National Chicken Parm Day being advertised right there on that card. All right, next up for Brandon, there's Pete Alonso. MVPs, by the way, being announced today. Uh, Taylor, I'm going to guess he's a basketball player. He's a football player. I was close. That is Jonathan Taylor. There's a nice Jeremy Pena right there. Jeremy Pena, for those, if he's a super famous guy, sorry folks, I don't follow any sports except for baseball. Robin Yount and Austin Meadows is the last one there. So we've got Jeremy Pena, we've got Bobby Witt. We have not yet seen the uh, J Rod in here, and we might not find him in this one. Pab Rocky's probably going to be some sort of um, Cubs fan, maybe a blogger or something like that, and he is a PA announcer. And let's see what else we have inside the park. That is Shenandoah National Park. Shenandoah National Park, very nice. And we have National Running Day. Man, there's so many different national days 
and National Running Days. It was organized in 2009. All right, so next up, there's probably a national day every day of the year. There, there's something. We've got Moore, who's obviously a kayaker and uh, explorer, actually, is what it says on the back. There's Castellanos, Luis Robert. We've got Tim McCarver, and many of Bregman, and last but not least, pitching a gem, Roger Clemens. So we're down to four packs left. We have one more hit due to us. Let's see who it's going to be. Oh, man, is it a rip card? No, it's not. I, th I thought it was a rip card for a second. Still a nice card. It's a game-used bat. I just saw the thick, thick stock there, and I uh, was hoping it was a rip card. It is an A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez, game-used bat. So overall, the hits, not too bad in this box. A-Rod and Chris Bryan, of course, had a down season last year with the injury, but the Charlie Sheen, wild thing from the movie Major League 1 and 2. That's a good card right there. I just wish the that was uh, a perfect mint condition card. There's Naylor. I'm going to guess team handball player, soccer player. There's Vladdy Jr., Eric Hosmer. We've got Lance Steiner once again, who's a curler. And what's cooking? Apple cider vinegar on the menu on that card. So two packs left. Let's see if we can find. We'll also check out that oversized box topper. Jake Cronenworth right there leads this pack off. Um, I'm going to guess um, Ching or Chang is going to be a an actor of some sort. He's a comedian. I'm usually wrong on most of my guesses. There's Fergie Jenkins right there and Kenley Jansen. And here we go, our last pack of Allen and Ginter. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I'll think about maybe putting together a, uh, a case break of this, and we can open a bunch of it and see what is all in there. There's an O'Neill Cruz rookie card, and you got your Cy Young Award winner in the National League, Sandy Alcantara. And to wrap things up, We've got a cycle card right there, of course, hit for the cycle, get a single, double, triple, and home run in the same game, game, and England and France, famous rivals card there. So before we go, I'd like to remind you, hit that subscribe button if you're new here. We'd love to have you along as we do videos every single day, and also tap that notification bell, little bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing and get notified every time we post a new video. And here we go, the oversized box topper's a good one, it's Shohei Otani. Very nice. These typically sell for $10 to $20 a piece, depending on who it is. That one might be on the uh, $20 side, potentially. So, Brandon, congratulations on that one. Congrats on the Charlie Sheen autograph. And that's all we have for you for right now. We'll be back later today. I have 2007 Upper Deck SP Legendary Cuts coming up. It's a very interesting throwback Thursday. It's an older box, and there's a whole bunch of great names on the Relic and Autograph checklist with the potential to find some cut autos in there of some very old players and some very good players as well. So check that out for Throwback Thursday a little bit later today. Have a great rest of your Thursday, and I hope to see you live tonight as well. So tap that notification bell so you get notified when we do go live. I'm either going to be doing a case break of uh, the legendary cuts, or I will do an auction, or maybe both. So stay tuned. Have a great rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you all later. Good night, everybody.